Hello everyone. In this video, we will start setting up a more complex generation, the generation of rooms. To describe a room, we need the tile of the wall of the room, the tile of the corner and the inner tile of the room. Something like this. It is also necessary to describe what is outside the room, for this you need a tile of emptiness. Room roughly looks like this. We can see that the inner tile can be adjacent to itself. The wall is adjacent to the void tile, adjacent to the inner tile of the room and can also be adjacent to itself. The corner is adjacent to the void and to the wall. Let's create tile info objects for each tile. Let's create a folder where we will store all the tile info objects. Tile of emptiness outside the room. The inner tile of the room. Tile walls. And the corner tile. The tile is empty, since it is empty, therefore it will not have any geometry. Therefore, we do not specify any static mesh. The type of symmetry it has is X, because as we do not rotate the void, it will be empty. So it has only one state, like the symmetry type X. We will leave the rest unchanged. Inner tile of the room. We'll take the mesh from the plugin folder. The inner tile of the room has the type of symmetry X. We will leave all other parameters unchanged. The next tile of the wall. Let's also take the mesh from the plugin folder. The wall has a type of symmetry T, we will indicate it. We will leave all other settings unchanged for now. And the last tile of the corner. Also take the mesh from the plugin folder. The corner tile has the symmetry type L. Now you need to configure tile neighbors. Create a folder where we will store the tile's preset objects. Create the tile's preset object. Transfer all our created tile types. It is better to specify neighbors from a simpler tile to a more complex one. The simplest is the void tile, let's start with it. 
tile is just next to itself. Since the symmetry type X has only one state and all its sides are equivalent, then all sides are automatically switched on immediately. Next, we specify the inner tile of the room. The inner tile cannot coexist with the void in any way. He is adjacent only to himself. The tile of the wall can be adjacent to the void, with the inner tile of the room and by itself. Corner tile is adjacent to the void and to the walls. Since we indicated that the wall is adjacent to the inner tile of the room, it is not necessary to specify a symmetrical option that the inner tile of the room can be adjacent to the wall. One pair of neighbors is enough. Save the setting. Let's move to the level created in the last video tutorial WFC Actor. We specify the core class for it. We specify the generation settings that we have now created. The tile size of these meshes is 150. Reduce the generation size. We see that incomplete rooms have formed on our borders. This is due to the fact that we have not disabled the ability to be adjacent to the generation boundary in the tile type settings. Let's point it out. Inner tile of the room cannot be adjacent to the border. We turn off all sides. The inner side of the wall and the sides cannot be adjacent to the border. In the corner tile, these sides also cannot be adjacent to the border. Regenerate. It turned out four rooms, all of them full. All of them are rectangular and rather boring in shape. To make the shape more complex, you need to add an additional tile of the inner corner. Something like this option. We will need such a new type of tile inner corner. See that it is not adjacent to the void. It can be adjacent to the inner tile of the room. 
It can also be adjacent to the wall and it can also be adjacent to the corner of the room. Add a new tile type and specify possible neighbors for it. Let's create it. Let's take the mesh from the plugin folder. It, as well as the corner, has the type of symmetry L. Immediately disable the ability to be adjacent to the generation boundary. We put everything else for now as well. Let's add it to our set of tiles. We will indicate possible neighbors for it. Regenerate. Now we have rooms of a more complex and interesting shape. That's it. In the next video we will add doors and corridors that will connect our rooms. Thank you all.